everyone, and welcome to Chapter 5, Season 2. I felt that in the spirit of the new season, that we should try to play a little bit more Phantom Investigation, because there's a hint that new things are on the horizon. I don't know about you, but when I see new things coming out, especially when Rhinex is announcing them, I get a little pumped up and uh, want to play this map a little more often. So with that all being said, let's knock out a challenge tonight. This challenge comes to us from Lewis Fifield. I love your videos. Shucks, folks, I'm speechless. And I have a challenge. You have to win three maps in a row without using temp. So the thermometer. Okay, I haven't done a no thermometer run before, so that one should be a pretty fun one to do. And since there aren't any specifications on what maps I have to do it on, I'm going to throw on the randomizer. So let's go in three maps in a row and tangle with these ghosts without our trusty thermometer. So I haven't given this challenge a name yet. Considering the fact that we are not allowed to use any thermometers here, I shall name this challenge the Broken Thermometer Challenge. Another thing I'm gonna try and do today is give you guys a little bit more of a full scope of what I do during these investigations. So a little bit more of a longer form content, considering the fact that I'm only playing three maps. And uh, I'll basically just allow you guys to see the whole scope of what this update's like. I've been playing this a little bit and I realized that I haven't seen all of the sound design stuff that has been added yet, so... This should be interesting. Okay, so... Let's get everything opened up here. One thing I will note right away, uh... The blue pillars and orbs are gone. So good job, Rhinex. Not saying it was a problem or anything, but it's nice to see that there was some progress made, and, uh... I, uh, I don't have to contend with more orbs than necessary. Oh no. That was a door closing. Why does it always have to be the bathroom? Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, you're being creepy in here, and I don't like that. Rule of thumb? Watch out for this walkway here, because if you stand here, there is a spawn that will shoot a ghost right at you. Learn that one the hard way. Oh, f oh, you, really? Do you have to be this creepy already? Okay, well, couch safety. We all know the protocol here. Let's, uh, let's try and commune with the ghost. Where are you? Are you friendly? Can you do something? Doesn't sound like a talker. Or at least doesn't look like a talker. So, uh... Keep that in mind. I haven't seen anything evidence-wise yet. I haven't even seen the ghost yet. Well, he really likes that bathroom. I am terrified of entering into here, but I'll do it for the content. Hello? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, that's enough. Don't want to be in there for too long. Okay. He is just hovering around me. I don't like these kind of ghosts. On one hand, it can be a really long slog and this ghost takes forever to find. On the other hand, it could just be a build up to something fairly creepy. Well. I'm here. You gonna do something? Hmm. Be a bit of a challenge to coax this ghost out of its hiding hole.
Oh, Mr. Ghost! I'm here! You, uh... Don't seem to want to show up. Is there a particular reason for that? Am I too flamboyant with my skin that I have here? You can always change it. If that suits you. I mean, I kind of like it, so I'll, I'll just keep it, but I don't know. Whatever floats your boat, pal. Just come on out. Again with the bathroom, I swear. Ooh! Well, that caught me off guard. Okay, guess we're going downstairs. Uh, now, I will note something. The ghosts actually start to spawn in the basement. Beforehand, I really didn't see a whole lot of that, but they're starting to really appear down there now. Like, I almost got attacked by one now. So, uh... Oh no. Yeah, uh, as I was saying before that little revelation, uh... The ghost can actually attack in the basement. And not to say that's a humongous change of scenery, but... I never really expected the basement to be that much of a kill zone. Orbs? So I guess I had to leave the house for it to do anything. Kind of a weird paradox. It's evil, but it doesn't want to do anything around me. Nevertheless, we have our two bits of evidence. Okay, three ghosts. It could either be a dupey, meaning I need to see EMF stuff. It could be a debuck, and I need to see ghost writing. Or it could be a shade, and we actually needed the thermometer. So, with that all being said, the spirit box is basically useless. So what do I take in its stead? Decisions of decisions. I guess I can kind of just keep the slot open and move the EMF whenever I need to. In fact, why don't I just... Why don't I just put the EMF in the bathroom? Okay, uh, I didn't want to close the door. That was a horrifying idea. I thought the ghost actually did that. Oh, now you're going to get active. Well, this I have to see. Because from what I see, you really don't want me around. Like you... Like that. Like I leave rooms or I leave the house and then you do something. Well, we can start eliminating... I'm getting caught off guard here. We can start eliminating ghosts here. Um, he's not doing anything with the EMF. So it's probably not a doopy. I don't see any ghost writing as far as I'm concerned. Let me just check the bathroom real quick. Oh, this is awful. Uh, okay. It's over. No more. Uh, anything down here? Nope. I think it's a shade. Or at least I'm beginning to believe it's a shade. Give it a little while longer, but... If I don't see any ghost writing, I think I've got my ghost. Let's try leaving the house again. Maybe that'll coax the ghost into doing something. Never thought that'd be something that eggs the ghost on. Well, come on, bud. I don't have all night. Did you do anything in here? Uh, oh, for goodness sake. Okay, pal. I'm, uh, I'm starting to get the feeling that you are very much a shade. So, I think that's enough for me. We're just going to choose our ghost, and uh, you can get back to your business. Y'all have a good one.
Process of elimination. Gotta love it. Okay, so, uh, I'm not really sure what the next map is going to be, so I really don't have any prep for it. So, I'll see you guys in the next map. No, oh, you have got to be kidding me. Really? The apartment. I guess the randomization isn't so random after all. Nevertheless, we will trudge forward and see what unmitigated nightmare is hiding within this darn apartment. All right, Mr. Whatever you are. Just let me have a chance to get in here before you cause mayhem. Grab my trusty spirit box and my meds, and we will just continue to open this all the way up. Okay. What? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Please. I'm just a simple ghost hunter. Just leave me alone. Woo! That caught me off guard really bad. So bad, in fact, that I actually left clicked, froze, took my hand off the keyboard, and just let the attack proceed. You're doing okay. Uh, I don't know. I might be doing okay in the game, but mentally. Uh... You're full health. Okay, just a glancing shot. The ghost is already hostile. Terrific. Okay, well, after that hostile display, we've got us a real one tonight. Uh, starting to get a little afraid of this little patch of the apartment here. I don't even know where to stand. It seems like the circle is tightening around me, uh, where I can stand. Where are you? Oh god, it's a talker, and it's a hostile ghost. However, I don't think it's evil. That's the one thing I can discern. Through my sheer terror, I did not see an evil push. But it is still creepy. Well, we can always ask the ghost anyways. I mean, got nothing else to do. Are you friendly? But I guess I have to. Hello, I'm here. Um, are you friendly? Come on, it's a simple question. Answer the flippin' question. Are you friendly? Maybe we'll ask later. Okay, so it's a talker. It's active. Um. It's not really that talkative, though, so... I'm not really sure what to think just yet. It's also all over the place, so that's terrifying. Are you friendly? Well, he doesn't want to answer. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's try going to another part of the apartment. Are you friendly? Actually, let's ask our third question, see if we can get it to be a little more active than this. Can you do something? Well, it really is picky about what it wants to do. Are you friendly? Answer the flipping question. So you attack me, leave me in sheer terror, and then just bounce. Uh, where the heck was that? Oh, well that's not good. It's not good at all. I don't like that. Not one bit. Uh, where 
Where the heck and heck was that? Down there? Okay, cool. Don't go down there. Get a little, a little frisky. Got to maintain some semblance of sanity here. And that sanity is gone. I swear I heard a heartbeat. Okay. Let's just generally open up dialogue here. Come on. You know you want to talk. Whoa! Whoa! Uh! Okay. Oh, for ch I'm out of here. Okay, after that heart attack, we have three options. It's either a wailing soul and needs EMF activity. It's a Maroi and needs the thermometer, of which we don't have. Or it's a Vitella and it will do some ghostwriting. I actually have no idea what to expect. It's kind of acting like a Vitella. However, I have a gut feeling that is telling me that it isn't. You're doing okay. Oh, uh, yeah, again. <laughs> Physically, yes. Mentally, eh. You're full health. Hey, attack twice in one night. She's Louise. Oh, yeah, the power's out. I forgot. Sorry, I was fearing for my life and totally gapped that the ghost was manipulating everything. Okay, so nowhere safe in this room. That's fun. Uh, I hate this guy. I hate him already. I mean... He hasn't done any EMF activity. And I don't see any ghost writing. So... Is it a Maroi? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! Help! Help! Please! Um... Okay. Uh... Spirit box? Ooh. This guy is freaking me. I wouldn't say it's the biggest freakout ever, but it's definitely raising some stress levels. This guy is running from me. He's going from one part of the apartment to the next. I swear, I don't know what to think of this guy. Well... You're not doing any ghost riding. Oh god. Okay, I... I... I don't know where to stand. I really don't. Everywhere is just death. Okay, well... I might have to... call it... if I want to survive this. Because... I... truly believe... That it's a Maroi. So I'm going to book it as fast as possible out of the house and never return. Phenomenal. Process of elimination again. So that's two ghosts in a row that required the thermometer. So I'm really pushing myself here. I like it. I don't know what map is next, but we're going to finish off with our final map of the night. It would give me this map. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to survive back-to-back -back rounds with the apartment and the general store. I mean, realistically speaking, the general store hasn't been too bad lately. I mean, it's had some pretty freaky ghosts, but I guess nothing I couldn't handle. Just watch, that will be the death nail for me here. Because I egged on the Fortnite gods, or the ghosts in this game. Okay, spirit box. Bandages, and, uh, let's go find a ghost. So, kind of wondering what we're going to run into tonight. Okay, 
That caught me off guard. Anything on the spirit box? Oh! That sounded bad. That sounded real bad. Uh, let's see. Are you friendly? This guy is a talker. Well, looks like we'll maximize the use of our spirit box here. Nothing wrong with that. Can you do something? Uh, kind of an ebb and flow moment here. Kind of just did a creepy thing and then bounced. Like the last ghost. I will say this. Oh. Well then. I guess we're going to have to go to the board. It could be a Wailing Soul, meaning I need to see EMF activity. It could be a Vitella, meaning I need to see ghost writing. Or it could be a Maroi, and I actually need that thermometer. Once again, I don't think it's a Maroi this time. Hello? I can't always... Tr You are just appearing everywhere. I'm a little intimidated. I don't know what to think. I will say one thing, though. You were in the corner and you didn't trip the EMF. Not a wailing soul. I guess I can try to get it to do something, because I know you're not evil. Please and thank you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? did something. What did you do? What did you do? Uh, okay. Well, if it's ghost writing, he didn't do it in the two spots that I can see. So, I have to do a little walk. I'm just gonna carefully move over here. Please don't attack me. Okay, cool. Nothing there. Sweet. Run. Okay, made it. Excellent. Perfect. Flawless. Well, maybe my gut feeling was wrong. Are you actually another Maroi? Are Maroi's that creepy? I mean, I almost died to one twice. That's something new. Let's try one more time. Can you do something? Can you do something? Okay, bud, just do something. Come on. Come on, I don't have all night here. Um. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, well, he did something. He did a lot of something. I forgot to check this room. Not sure if anything really pops up in here, though. I know there was a ghost spawn in there, but... I don't think... I don't think the ghost would put ghost writing in there. Normally there's two spots I really look for if there's ghost writing. The wall kind of just over there near the doorway. And right just near that EMF there. The only thing is... I'm not seeing it. So it leads me to think of one thing. It may not be a Vitelli either. So... It might be a double Maroi knight. Ooh. Okay. Jeez, man, you certainly like showing me that you have orbs. Why can't all ghosts be like this? Half the time, they're just hiding them. Or they don't even show up. Okay. Well, I think... But if I don't see orbs in the next minute or so, I'm going to have to call this a night. A few moments later. Okay, well, it's been a minute or so, so... I guess I'm just going to have to choose. It was indeed a double Maroi night. Lewis Fifield, thank you very much for the awesome challenge suggestion. If you'd like to be like Lewis and see your challenge done by yours truly, leave your challenge suggestion in the comments down below. 
But until next time, guys, I'll uh, I'll try to really pump out more challenges as time's going on. I have a list of all the challenges that were suggested, or at least the ones that were feasible to do. And uh, hopefully, either after a few more challenges I do, or maybe even after this video, uh, there's going to be another update that'll bring a pretty significant change to the street house. But for now, we're just going to leave it at that. So I hope you guys have a good night, and I'll see you soon.